Hey, in this training, I want to show you uh, what are called dark posts. Now, I went through, if you've gone through the rest of the trainings or some of the other ones, you saw that I talked about the, the boost post and post engagement, which are the ones that I use the most. And then there's one that we use called a dark post. Now, the purpose of a dark post is that you can still target either your fan page uh, or anybody on uh, Facebook, but you don't put this post on your fan page. So it's not going to go through the feed uh, necessarily. So it's not a, you don't make a post of it and then do it. This one is just strictly you. You just want people to see it, and any of your fans are not going to get hit up by the same uh, the same ad. Okay. So what I would recommend when we do this one, this video right here, is I would recommend that if you want to uh, practice one of these, again pause the pause the video as I go through and give you some bullet points and say, okay, I'm going to go check that out, and then I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to play the video, and it'll help you to get uh, you know get these up and running pretty quickly. And then once you uh, once you get your first one up, you can obviously run as many as you want, and um, I'll show you how to track all that and, and stuff like that. So let me show you what a dark post looks like. Okay, now first off, we're going to identify what we want to send traffic to. What who who and what or who do I want to send my my uh, you know people to look at? What do I and what am I sending them to? And I've chosen to use a, a book I wrote. Uh, called Network Marketing Made Easy. Obviously, I've told you in some of the videos I have a background in that. I've done very, very well with it. But I wrote this uh, book, and I think I probably have a training in here. If not, I'm going to make one on how to put something similar to this together. It's not as hard as you might think it is, even if it is a book. This was just, I just made a nice image. Uh, you can you know get that done on Fiverr if you want. But uh, all I'm doing is I want to send people here to download this book so that when they came, they would click on this and they were just joining my email list okay because what I'm what I do on here is I try to get people to uh, engage with me in this book series I also once they or when they sign up for the book I'm offering some other stuff that I showed you in the funnel videos and the funnel webinar that uh, gives them more I, I give training videos on there to build more rapport and so, and so on okay so anyhow so what I would do is I would copy this link up here so you see at the top here MikeHealyTraining.com forward slash free hyphen Healy book. So whatever the URL is, I'm going to just right click and copy that. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to show. Now if I go back to my ads manager, what I'm doing is I'm going to send people, it's just this would be the traffic one. I've talked to you about the engagement, but the traffic one is the one we're going to, we're going to click on. And I'm going to name it uh, uh, MLM book. Okay, and I click continue. And then what happens here is you're going to see that up at the top here, it's going to ask, what do I want, you know, choose your, where you want your traffic. You'll enter destination later. So I've copied the, um, uh, the URL of where I'm going to send people to, but now I have to go through and find out what I'm going to do. Now we went through and we defined some of these before. There are, if, I, if you already have audiences, if you've done this before and you've gone through some of the trainings, uh, if you already have audiences, you can add those. So you can click on that and it would, would pull up all the ones that I might have saved, different things like that, you know, boom. I could do that or I have uh, other saved audiences and, and so on. But we're going to say it's from scratch, okay? So I would go in and let's say, and I'm not going to go through all of the details on this because I have uh, the other training videos you probably watched already saw this, so we're not going to do that. I'm just showing you the, the basics of this. I'm going to leave the 18 to 65 all, I'm going to leave the, uh, the that open and so on, but I do have to put the demographics in here. I want to put uh, uh, anybody that I know that's in network marketing. Let's say I'm just going to trigger uh, Amway people, okay? And there's there's Amway. Now what I will do is I'm going to shrink that down. Is you'll see it so it shows interests, employee, employers, things like that. I'm just going to I always click on the interests spot. So I'm going to click that, and that gives me an audience of of uh, you know in the U.S. in the United States, 510,000 people have liked the Amway page. Okay, so if I was just going to leave it at that. And again, I show uh, there's a training on the audience insights tool to how to use that, so you can figure out what your audience is if you're watching, if you're jumping ahead and watching this video when you should have watched the other ones. Okay, so anyhow, uh, so the Amway thing, and then I don't, I don't want to say this audience. I'm going to go with automatic placements on this one because I just really don't know. It's kind of broad, but I'm going to only do a five dollar a day budget. Okay, and I, I would recommend when you're doing these that I do almost just $5 a day on almost all my ads for quite a while 
because it still gives me a broad enough base. If you look at the amount of people that it's going to reach, I'm still going to reach you know 300 to 800 people per day on Facebook and some of them on Instagram. Okay, so by doing that, what's going to happen is that's going to allow me. Uh, to build, you know, with five dollars, it's going to show me what which ads are working and so on. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Okay, I'm just optimizing for link clicks. A lot of this is already pre-done for you and automatic. I typically don't have an ad set name uh, because I'm not doing multiple ad sets with this. Now, the next page that I'm going to go to here is this is where you're going to pick your uh, your images. Okay, I typically go with a single image on here because it's what a single image is you scroll down and you see the picture of the image and maybe a little bit of text okay now if you didn't know this if you don't have any images and you maybe there's something relevant that you would like you can always click on free stock images and it'll pull up a, a ton of them if you already have uploaded images it would be in your browse your library area but I'm just gonna say it's brand new this is a brand new ad that I'm running I'm gonna upload my images now what I did is I went into uh, canva.com and I created um, a handful of these real quick. What I did is uh, Facebook will allow you to upload six images per ad. And what happens is it will spread those images out throughout the internet or through Facebook. And then what I do is I'll look to see, you know, if the, and I keep the copy, the text, the same on every ad but the image might be different. So I might think that the, the one with the, the white background is, you know, might be the one that I want. Well, well, maybe they'll show that it's, they like my picture here. So I put different things, the yellow, the beach, and a girl on here, just randomly put their, on there. And I have a training on Canva that you can watch as well to see how to use that. And once you get some of this down, you're gonna be able to click through it really quick. So it's, it's, it's cool. But I've, I've downloaded these images. So I'm gonna go back to the ads. And I want to upload these images. So what's going to happen is I'm going to find where they were. They were in my downloads. And they were all here. So all six of them. And I'm going to just, boom, I'm going to upload them. Now what's going to happen is they're going to upload. It's going to take be fairly quick uh, to upload. But while those are uploading, I'm going to go here. Now what I'm doing is it's going to, this right here is going to show me where the page, uh, which page I'm advertising from. So when I'm advertising from a page, you know, if I if you manage more than one page, you might see the different ones. Like these are all the ones I do. So Mike Healy's defaulted as mine right there, and you see this is the first image that came up. Okay, so now that the now these have uploaded, uh, this is going to be what my ad description is going to look like. Now if you click here, you can see which the what it looks like on mobile, on the on your uh, you know your phone right column displays and so on so it's kind of cool that you can get you can look at all those different things that it's going to show you so i'm going to go back here but also up here right above that in ad previews you click on that one and it's going to change the what the images look like in your in your ad okay so i'm gonna go back to the yellow one and i'm down here okay so now we've gotten to i've uploaded my images and so on now i want to put my example of where my web page is going to go and i already have some on here but i already copied and pasted it so I'm gonna put that in there and then once I load it it actually will pull some of the text automatically from from there so if you see it it pulled some of the header image stuff and go to my book this this text was actually automatically loaded in there so in some cases you don't even have to rewrite your copy okay you can or, or if I was going to I might go to this page if it didn't automatically load it, and I would copy and paste it or if you like something from somewhere else and I wouldn't leave free Healy book necessarily I would, uh, uh, you know, I would put something like along the lines of uh, download this book for free. Okay, something like that. Now I know you can't put a bunch of exclamation points, commas, things like that, and a lot of this stuff. So you want to keep that headline very, very simple. And then you'll see the text here. You see where the text area is. It says it matches up your network marketing struggling recruit struggling to get leads and I'll and I'm not going to make this live so I don't care really what the spelling is struggling to get leads and so on okay and then you can add a news feed description here and understand that at any time you you go oh, I, don't, I don't like that title I'm going to just change this if you're in network marketing download this book 
and it changes for you and you'll see it in a second it'll re refresh itself and boom I, I have it right there okay and then the dis display link I don't mind that it says MikeHealyTraining.com you can change that newsfeed link description will give you a few more characters if you wanted to add more detail on that I don't use any of these optional parameters or anything like that and I don't track any conversions okay this would be a dark post that now would go go out uh, to everybody now here's the thing um, and I'll show I think I have another video or I'm going to put another video together on tracking your conversions and tracking your images because I, I'll go through now once once this ad is live and approved once I run it for a day or so I'll go in and look at it and I'll see that I have uh, five clicks on the yellow background I'll have three clicks on the girls image and I'll have zero clicks zero clicks zero clicks and then I might have one with me on there and it has 50 clicks I mean not necessarily but it has 50 I turn just in the ad set so they're all posted right there I'll just turn those off so you know I think I have an ad, a video I'll put together for you on that how to track some of this stuff as well and then all you would have to do is place the order wait a few minutes probably less than a half an hour and you're gonna have a, a, a dark post ad running that will be out there targeted but it's not going to be on your uh, pay your 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 put your page itself okay one more quick thing I want to actually show you my what it would look like live in a news feed is I did do I did do this book as a boost post um, but it's not but if I chose to do another ad with it I could do an entirely different audience using the dark post if I was doing that I use a lot of videos for dark post advertising but on here this was just a boost post or this was a post engagement I did and I think you need to see these results because it was attention network marketers ready to grow your check free book download get a free copy of my book and then it was just a free book download right but to me I can see these results so I had um, let me blow this up for you I had 37,000 people reach now what's cool is if I'm if you're on your Facebook page you can you can just hover over that and it'll show you show you what the paid traffic was versus the organic so I had some people that organically liked it and so on and then I paid for about 35,000 people to view that this was kind of cool I had uh, you know almost uh, 266 plus four three whatever uh, you know a lot of share a lot of uh, likes and comments but I had 55 shares 55 shares again is what you want on any post when people are liking something or they're they they're in the same niche and it's an important thing that they could get to their friends they start sharing it out there and that gives you traffic that you didn't have to pay for which is really really cool okay so when you do the dark posts it's just it's just not on your news feed is all it is but it, you can you can copy this like I would copy if I was gonna do a bar, dark post which I've done a lot of times when I do a post engagement I will see the success of it and if I saw that one of these was successful as a post engagement then I might just copy the exact image image text links everything and I make a dark post out of it so that I can send it to a, a new demographic or you know that, that might not need to hit see this one so you can a dark posts are just basically ways to hide something if you didn't want it to be on your news feed in most cases you're not necessarily going to need to do that unless you become a little more advanced with this stuff but um, you know again I think my still my top one is the post engagement one but you needed to know dark posts that way you understand you can send ads to people uh, and target them without it being in your news feed if somebody was to go check it out so hope that helped and I'll see you on some of the other videos thanks